back for game number two of our boys girls doubleheader starting lineup for the Rye Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts come in with a six and six league record, eight and nine overall. Number three, Connor Hale. Aaron Daub, one of the senior leaders on this ball club. Junior Ortiz. Number 21, T. Ham, Tristan Hamler. And Austin Hale, the other senior on the ball club. David, part one of the revenge tour complete. Look to see part two now. As the Grizzlies handed the Thunderbolts a tough loss down in Fowler, we'll see if the Thunderbolts can repay the favor here tonight. Yeah, Gary, that had that had to hurt. You know, right with that time was on a pretty good roll at the time, getting their offense and defense, getting their, you know, rotations together, and they go down to Fowler, and they, you know, they just get stung by a Fowler, Fowler team a little bit hungrier you know, at that time. And, you know, sometimes you come in overconfident, and they kind of got bit. But you know what? Again, Coach Hill, you know, like Coach Bailey, good strategists, good coaches. They're going to put something together here and put this one again way early, I think. Just like that. Little defense. All comes down to that defense. Hamilton shot blocked out of bounds. Grizzlies will play it in under their own basket. Just underway. Again, glad you're along, TV4 Sports. Get up. There you go. Dow with the glass. Gary Fowler, a very physical team, you know. Rise, not so physical, more of a finesse team. Yeah, there you go, more of a finesse team. So you know, I, I see Coach Hill maybe going inside out, maybe maybe knocking down some threes and pulling out that Fowler uh, Fowler defense, and then going inside to to Aaron Dalb and Alston Hale. Junior inbounds. Hale shot, no good. good. Dowd with the loose ball. Good play by Austin Hale. Teham looks to the post. Austin inside with the left hand, no good. There's Connor Hale. Good rebound. Nice hands. Hale with the putback. Nice strong rebound by Connor Hale. Gary, only a freshman, Connor. Klinkerman from outside, no. Rebound, Whoa. tied up. Hamilton and Austin Hale. Possession arrow to the Thunderbolts. Look for Coach Hale to go early to the big man, Austin Johnson, to come in off, off the bench and provide some body, some muscle in the middle. I would be surprised if Coach Hale brings him off pretty quick. Aaron turns to go and loses control. It'll be Grizzly basketball. Six and a half to go, first quarter. Thunderbolts with the only basket of the game so far. Gonna be a blocking foul called on number 31, Austin Hale. Those are tough. You, know, you got someone going, really not going to the hole, but just Sliding down, and yeah, I mean, you got to guard them. And you know, the thing is, David, we, we've talked about it before. If they're going to call that, okay, but I want to see them call it the whole game. Be consistent with it the whole game. Make them keep their hands off. She loses oh. control, out of bounds off Connor Hale. Oh, got Klinkerman. Kinkerman. Yep. Nice rebound. Ahead to Teham. Inside to Dow. There you go. Nice play. 
Nice finish by Aaron Dalb and a Strong. good pass inside by Teham. Strong finish by Aaron. Aaron Dalb always you know, seems to always draw the the defense on the best player of the opposing team, Kinkerman. Carpenter with the miss. Look at Dalb. Wow. Way to go AD. to the hole. Timeout. Fowler. Quick. 6-0 Thunderbolts. 5-12 to go first quarter. We'll keep it right here. David, good start for the Thunderbolts. Just what the doctor ordered, Gary. I tell you. A little early, physical, you know, and Kinkerman was hitting those three-point shots. I think he went for 15 or 17 last time he was down in Fowler. Coach Hale's got a little game plan here. He's going to take his time. He's going to run. He's going to push the ball. And again, right Thunderbolts are going to the basket. They're not settling for that three-point shot. It, it looks pretty obvious that, that Fowler wants to get Klinkerman to ball and get him on track. And right now, he's struggling to get the ball in the basket. 6-0. Thunderbolts. Klinkerman. Carpenter. Hershey. Wright and Hamilton for the Grizzlies. And defense, nice defense by the Bullets. Get a body, short. Hamilton's shot is no good. Good pass by Junior Ortiz. Good thought. Looking for AD in the post. Almost had to be that quick move, Gary, because I think they only had a split second to get it inside. Look at Teham. That Teham wide open for a three point shot. Pull it, pull it up. Junior from the corner, no good. Klinkerman with the glass for the Grizzlies. They'll go the other way. 4.20 to go. Hamilton shot again, no good. Teham out of the pack. Look, 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 look. And down. Boom. Connor Hale's shot is no good. Good job. Way to go, pass Austin. Stolen by Hale. Stolen back by Hamilton. And he gets the first basket of the game for the Grizzlies. Swing it. Swing it there. Teham deals. Good job. Draws right. the foul. If Tristan's going to go to the line for two. Gary, nice. That's a nice little energy bear by T. Ham. Could have settled for another outside jumper. Just went ahead and took it to the hole. Tap, the not intimidated yep. at all. And he's a good free throw shooter. Austin Johnson for Austin Hale. It's about right, Gary. About the three minute mark. AJ Vinci set to check in. For Hamler, he hits two of two out of boy T. Ham. Good energy from Tristan here early on. Nice to see him get the start, Gary. Absolutely. 8-2. He worked hard. Definitely want to get Klinkerman involved, don't they? With the three, he's long. So let's go push it, Junior. Junior with the rebound. Nice entry pass by AJ. Wow, look at Austin Hale, right in the middle. Nice play. That's Connor Hale. Connor with Connor the put back. Hale. 
Nice hands, nice hands, Junior. Try that. There's the, there's the shortstop, huh, of Junior. Yep. Nice hands. hands. Soft hands. <laughs> Soft hands. Boom. Nice move, Austin Johnson. There you go. The big sophomore, 12-2 bolts. Takes up a lot of room. <laughs> Thick. Boy, get him on the rope, he'll be just fine. I don't know, jump rope and... Cooper Wright with the basket. It's 12-4, Thunderbolts. There he is again, there he is again. <sighs> Wright with the fast break basket. 12-6. There he is there, lob it, lob. There you go. Junior. Oh, there he was, there he was, yeah, yeah. Tham returns for Junior, Ortiz. 145 to go, first quarter. It's 12-6, Thunderbolts. Hershey's shot is rejected by awesome. Johnson. Oh, don't panic, don't panic. Yeah, don't panic, Austin. Carpenter for the Grizzlies. Austin Johnson panicked a little bit right there, Gary. Foul going to be called on A.J. Vinci. Austin Harrell's got, Austin Johnson's got to get a little bit comfortable with that ball. Seems a little bit nervous when he gets it. As an underclassman, you, a lot of times they want to defer to the older kids. Give it to him. These big folks work hard. 40 seconds, first quarter. Loose ball. Tristan the other way. Daub with the 10 footer, he's long. Hershey with the glass. Last shot time for the Grizzlies, 12 seconds to go. Tied up. Thunderbolts the other way, two, one. Hey Gary, tell you what, Coach Hill came out pretty strong. Put his, you know, start the team running. He's gotta be happy with this 12-8 lead. You know, after the first quarter, had him had him going pretty good, but kind of petered out at the last minute. Had a 12-2 you know? lead, a 6-0 run for the Grizzlies to end the quarter. Connor Hale with four, Aaron Daub with four, Tristan with a couple of free throws, and Austin Johnson with the basket for the Thunderbolts in the first quarter. 12-8. We're going to have a good ball game. Got to feel, get the feeling that the Grizzlies aren't going to go away. They're going to stay, you know, stick around, hang in there. So the Thunderbolts are going to have to play the full 32 minutes tonight. Well, you know what? I think the one thing that, that Fowler's going to try to have to figure out is how to get Klinkerman free. Uh, Aaron Dobbs did a great, has done a great job defending him. And I think that, you know, they're probably going to look at some plays and try to free him up because so, he's, you know, he's their best shooter. And, and for them to be in this game, he's, they're going to have to get, you know, 10, 12 points at least out of him. Night in and night out, Aaron Daub draws the other team's leading scorer. We saw him with Brandon Book from Swink, uh, Baylor from Crowley County. AD will be relentless on defense, and he will always guard the number one player from the other team. You know what the problem with that, Gary, is he gets into foul trouble, too. So that's that's the downside of putting Aaron on him. Great defender, a lot of energy. It's a downside of putting him on the best player of the opponent because they get him into foul trouble. And then, you, only, you know, early foul trouble, you might not have him for the whole game. 
surprised coach isn't doing some type of switching and putting somebody else on him to pick up a foul. And nice Hershey move. Nice move. Can't finish. Junior the other way ahead to Teham. Junior in the corner. No. Those are tough shots. Catch and release like that. Dow with the steal. Klinkerman with the block. Ouch. That was a good hard foul. Nothing wrong with that. Good hard foul. Klinkerman's first, team third. Austin, I mean, Connor a little short. Don't using those legs. AJ Vinci checks in for Tristan Hamler. There you go. Connor Hale hits one out of two. It's 13-8, seven minute mark of the second quarter. A.J. Vinci going to be called for the foul. Coach Hale telling him, make him go left. Make him go left. Make him use that left hand. A.J. picks up his second foul. T. Ham checks right back in. Three-pointer, no good. Hershey with the basket and one. Nice play. Tell you something like that, you better grab him. Free throw no good. Foul was on Junior Ortiz, his first. Team fourth. That cross-court pass, Gary, that's hard to make with the leapers of the game today. Some of these guys can just flat out get up. Inside to Daub. Won't go. Nice. Austin Hale on the glass, rejected by Klinkerman. And a foul going to be called on Aaron Daub. David, you feel maybe a little bit of a momentum switch here. Thunderbolt still on top 13-10, but Fowler... Trying to get a little momentum going. I mean, I think Thunderbolts are staying with their game. They're getting it inside. I just think the Fowler defense has now collapsed. You know, they're, they're almost double, team, double teaming the guy that has the ball inside. Pass out of bounds off the Thunderbolts. Huh. Right with the runner, won't go. Thunderbolts the nope, other way. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. Carpenter misses everything. Dow will go the other way. Travel. Timeout Fowler. We've got a ball game. 5.39 to go. First half. It's 13-10 Thunderbolts. We'll be right back on TV4 Sports.
Grizzly set to inbound. 5.39 to go. First half. Gary, we have a good one. You know, look at the team fouls. Right with five team fouls. Grizzlies only with three. That could play an important, you know, an important part here in the last in the first, uh, last half of the first half, I should say. Hershey on the block. Spins. His shot no good. Nice. Austin Hale with the steal ahead to Aaron Daub. Stolen away. The Grizzlies will go the other way. Yep. Carpenter tried to jump stop, just lost his footing. Okay, settle down, Thunderbolts. You gotta settle down, quit going for that home run, huh? Run some offense. There you go. There's Aaron in the post. Oh, had him, had him. Hamler's shot is blocked by Klinkerman. Big Sam Ambler ready to check in. That's a good foul by Tristan, though. Don't give up the layup. He hustled back, and he's going to make right, earn it at the free throw line. Missed an opportunity to find Dalb in the post there. He was wide open on the block. Cooper Wright able to cut this game to one point lead here. Gary, about 440, about 440 left in the second half, in the first half. Boom, automatic. Nice two time. out of two. We've got a one point ball game. Grizzlies in about a what, 10, 10 to one run? Pretty close, huh? Get back to the offense. Nice, nice defense by the Grizzlies. That cross court pass. Trying to sneak those one in. Ridley's too quick. We call timeout. Thunderbolts. 422 to go first half. We'll take a quick break and come right back. Junior set to inbound for the Thunderbolts. Sam Ambler checks into the ball game. Well, I tell you, Junior's having a hard time with those passes tonight. I don't know what he's seeing. Just not quick enough getting that pass off. Look, 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 look at Daub. Connor Hale with the turnover. Grizzlies the other way. Hershey with the left yep. hand. And the lead. Grizzlies take the lead. It's 14-13. Trap. Coach has to do something. He's got to get some folks in there. There you go. Tristan Hamler will check in for Junior Ortiz. 3.50 to go. Second quarter. Grizzlies with their first lead of the night at 14-13. You know, a smart substitution by Coach Hale. Junior's struggling tonight at the point. And you know, David, something that doesn't bode well for the Thunderbolts right now is that Klinkerman has yet to score a point. Their leading nice. scorer. Nice box. And the Grizzlies are in this thing with a one point lead.
There's Aaron again. Connor's got to look into the post off the wing there. Offense a little bit out of sync, Gary. There he is. There he is. Look at Sammy. Hamler gets it in to the post. Hale's shot is rejected by Klinkerman, and the Grizzlies come back the other way. Yep. On Hale. Austin Hale called with the blocking foul. Got a little body on him. David, that's team foul number seven, and you called it. The, th the Grizzlies are going to shoot free throws now, one and one for the remaining 248 of the first half. Just three personals on the Fowler Grizzlies. I'll tell you, the Fowler Grizzlies really, really fought back. Down 12 to two. On a 12 to one run. 12 to one run right now. Right, I don't believe Rice scored in the last four minutes. Hershey's, Hershey's free throw is no good. Trap might pick up that ball. And a foul called on the Grizzlies. A good ball movement there. Ambler caught, made the quick pass. Down at the ankles, Gary. You can't throw it to the big guys down at the ankles. Ambler should have turned around and just hit that three-footer. I mean, he's right there underneath the basket. Dow will shoot two. Chance to give the Thunderbolts the lead. Some of these, some of these folks coming off the bench, these support players, sometimes they have to pick it up when their primary scorers aren't shooting, aren't scoring, Gary. And I think that's one of the hardest things as a as a support player, is maybe not the go-to guy on the team, is sometimes you've got to be the shooter. Dalb misses two. And, and again, part of that is the youngsters. Junior. There you go. With the and one. Brinkerman, the foul. Almost could have been an offensive foul. Nice that job. Out. Nice job by Junior to shield him off. I think that's what the Fowler coach, they, the coaches jumped right off the bench. They definitely thought it was going to go the other way. Boy, the Thunderbolts are struggling from the free throw line. It's 15 14 Rye. Pick it. Pick it. Nice move. Cooper Wright with the basket, the little runner in the lane. The Grizzlies come right back. Klinkerman the other way. Dunk it. Dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it down. Woo! Fowler fans off their feet. Dalb. No. Johnson battles. Aaron tracks down the loose ball. Swing it. Connor Hale with the three-pointer. Nope. His shot is no good. Fowler's come alive. And they've got the momentum right now. Yeah. Foul. Aaron Dobb. Evan Carpenter is going to shoot one and one for the Grizzlies. Foul on a 16 to 3 run, Gary. Last five and a half minutes of the 17 to three run. Coach Hill walking down the bench looking for looking for an answer. 18 to three run. It's 20 to 15. Woo! Big lead of the night for the Grizzlies. That defense, that defense is tough. Austin Johnson. There you go, the big man. With the put back. AJ. And a travel called on there the Grizzlies. You 
Logan Neumeister checks in for the Thunderbolts. Hale out. Turnover Thunderbolts. One minute left. Second quarter. Foul called on A.J. Vinci. That's his third. Hitting those free throws, huh, Gary? Fowler's hitting their free throws, and the Thunderbolts are not right now. Boom. And David right now, 9-4 to four on the personal foul count. Go penetrate, penetrate. Got to go up, Austin. Got to go up. 47 seconds to go, first half. Rejected by Johnson. Loose ball. Give Junior the, the other way. Give it to the big man. Connor Hale attacks, draws oh. the foul, but can't get it to go. Good job attacking the basket right. there by Connor. 27 seconds to go. First half, need a couple free throws here. Connor here, there you go. Maybe that gets him going. Been struggling from the field. Klinkerman, that's three. Nice try. Good hustle by Sam Ambler. Just can't control it. It'll be Grizzly basketball. 22-18. 25 seconds to go. Travel. Hmm. Nice. Good move. Hershey is rejected. Ambler says get it out of here. Ambler at the buzzer, and it'll count. Woo! And that's a big basket for the Thunderbolts. 22-20. Sam Ambler, out of nowhere, comes and puts that one down with one second left. Referees are talking about they're going to count it. Oh, it's definitely good. 22-20 is our halftime score. We're going to have a heck of a second half when we come back on TV4 Sports. Fowler at the half, a little momentum boost there by the put, the put back by Sam Ambler right at the buzzer. We'll see if that carries over into the third quarter for the Thunderbolts. You know what? That was a big booster. I mean, Sam, out of nowhere, came in and tipped in that, tipped in that shot with about a second left. You know, and that's exactly what the bolts, bolts needed. I mean, Coach Hale's got to go in. I'm probably pretty frustrated in the first half, but that, that makes things easier on a coach when you go in and try to talk to your team. Settle them down, give them some momentum and confidence to keep going in the second half. Five starters on the floor for Coach Hale. Junior, his shot won't go. Dow fights for the rebound, but it's controlled by Hamilton. Nice shot by Junior. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, offensive, deep, offensive foul. Hamilton called for the offensive foul. Nine fouls to five in the first half, David. In the favor of the Grizzlies. Get the refs talked about that a little bit. I'm sure they heard about it from Coach Hale on their way off the floor. Forcing them out, I tell you. Tristan ready? from downtown. Get in, Tris. Fowler's 
forcing Rye out on the perimeter. Gary, take that outside shot. Wild shot by Wright is no good. The Thunderbolt's the other way. Junior, nice entry pass. Austin Hale, his there shot is, is up and in. Nice pass. Again, going back inside, just how they started the first quarter. And a good entry pass yep. from Junior off the wing. We're knotted at 22. 6.45 to go, third quarter. Junior with the loose ball ahead to AD. Just a too little too hard off the glass. David, it's going to get rough here it's in the second half. You can tell just in the first two minutes here that it's going to get rough in the second half. Referees are going to have to do a good job of controlling this thing so it doesn't get out of hand. Tristan again, just a little short. Grizzlies the other way. Hamilton's shot is no good. Junior back for the Thunderbolts. Austin Johnson and H.J. Vincey set to check in. Turnover. Lazy pass, lazy passes. Pass inside to Austin Hale. He Look at that. Look at pushes Austin. His wow. Way in. Wow. That's some power basketball right there. Not going to be denied there. It's 24 24. Way to step up the senior. Good, good, good. Look, 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 look. Junior back for the Thunderbolts. Connor Hale's shot is no good. AD fights for the rebound. Pop it, pop it, Tristan. Coach Hale wanted a timeout. Ooh. Austin was on the ball, on the floor with the ball. Did, was able to get it away, but Coach Hale didn't want to give up that possession, David. I don't blame him. That's a good call. Absolutely. I mean, burn burn Absolutely. the timeout. You usually don't use them in the game anyway. All of them, at least. Every possession is important. And Fowler coach is out to talk with the referees. I don't know what they could be complaining about right now. The foul situation has been all in favor of Fowler so far. 4.50 to go, third quarter. It's 24-24. It'll be Thunderbolt basketball underneath their own basket. Now, yeah, a lot of cases, Gary. Coaches don't have a lot to say. They just want to let the let the referees know that they're there. And and what they're doing is they're trying to get that next call. Yeah. They might agree with the last call, but they want the next one. Junior inbounds to Austin Johnson. In the lane to Johnson. He deals. Look at that. It's in. <laughs> Look at that. Pure muscle. Austin Woo! Johnson. Pure muscle. Go ahead and stop in that. Thunderbolts regain the lead at 26 24. Jump it, jump it, AJ. Right shot in the lane is nice no box. good. AD with the rebound ahead to Junior. See if he'll pull up. He does. Woo! Boom. On a roll. Here we go. 28 24. Nice, nice pit off the leg. Oh. Clinkerman with the quick jump. Wow, it's nice. Good. The quick release, nice shot. He's going to get his. Johnson tries to go baseline. Vinci will take the jumper. It's no good. AD with the offensive board and the putback. Oh! Nice, nice body control. Aaron Daub goes right, a little fall away, keeps his shoulder squared, and gets the bump. Foul called on number 10, Tate Hershey. 
his first, team second. Aaron is over three tonight from the line. Got to hit him. Got to hit him. Use your legs, buddy. One out of two for AD. And Austin Hale will check in for Aaron. 3.41 to go, third quarter. The Thunderbolt lead is three. There you go, there you go. Get out, get out, get out, I'm. Yep. Yep. Got to get a hand in his it, yep. face. Plinkerman warms up. That's going to be trouble for the Thunderbolts. Junior pulls up. Rebound controlled by the Grizzlies. Loose ball, Connor Hale, and we've got a foul called on Hershey. Well, foul's going the other way this half. Even them out just a little. Three team fouls. Aaron Daub checks in for Connor Hale. Boy, if Junior can heat up. Catch and release. Three-pointer for Ortiz. He's got seven. The Thunderbolt lead is three. 2.15 to go, third quarter. Wright's shot from the elbow is no good. Rebound. It's going to be a jump ball, possession arrow to the Grizzlies. Good hustle. David Thunderbolts have switched to his own defense. They've gotten away from their man-to-man. -man. You know what? And it kind of surprises me because Aaron did a great job on Klinkerman. But you know what? They were, out, they were getting burnt in other areas. Oh. But here in the second half, Klinkerman's hit two, two three-pointers against that zone yep. defense. And that's the best way to pull a team out of his own defense is to hit that shot from outside. I'll be interested to see how long Coach Hale stays with the zone rather than go back to his man-to-man. -man. Austin Johnson with the rebound. Thunderbolts with the chance to stretch the lead to five. Fast third quarter, Gary, 141 left in the third. Quick moving third quarter, you bet. Dow baseline and he's fouled. Hamilton gonna be called for the foul. Four team fouls now on the Grizzlies. And that's four on Hamilton. He's gotta sit down. Chris Bolin will check in. Junior from the corner, get in. Oh, just a bit off. That would have been a uh, a big one right nice there, a big right basket. There. Coach Hale hollering off the bench for Austin to get out and get a hand up in Clinkerman's face. Don't give him a chance to get rid of that three-point shot. You know, Fowler kind of standing around. Nobody's cutting. Everybody's on the perimeter just where Coach Hill wants them. Three-pointer from Hamilton. Or check that carpenter is no good. Ahead to Austin Johnson. Look at the oh. sophomore. Boy, I think there might have been some contact there. The Grizzlies back the other way. Klinkerman catches, releases, no good. Daub with the rebound. He'll go the other way and smartly pulls it up. One on four. 
He's going to let the Thunderbolts set. 30 seconds to go. Third quarter. Swing it. 30. Ah, he missed him. Be patient here. Settle for one shot. You got 20 seconds to go. Third quarter. Junior from three point land. No good. And Fowler's going to get the last shot of the quarter now. Hershey forces one up, no good. Austin with the rebound. Gary, good third quarter. Thunderbolts yeah. outscore the Grizzlies 12-7 in the third quarter. It's a three-point ball game, 32-29. We'll be right back for the fourth quarter on TV4 Sports. Inside, muscles his way in, shot is no good. That's an awful quick whistle there. Austin came out with the basketball. Yeah, it's tough. Real quick. Rejected by Hale. How about three seconds? Boom. Clinkerman. Kind of gotten, he got into a groove this half, didn't he? Against that zone. Inside to Daub. He spins. No good. Oh, Grizzlies the other that, way huh? with the chance to take the lead. Oh. You know what, though? They, 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 looked at the, they looked at the fouls, and they got to catch up here. <laughs> That's only Rise Thunderbolts first team foul. Third, Third foul, foul on yeah. Aaron Daub. And the Thunderbolts are back in their man to man. Carpenter's shot misses everything. Thunderbolts the other way. Nice entry pass. Dalb. Nice shot is block. rejected. And that's going to be four on AD. Tristan Hamler up to check in. That's a big foul there. Aaron yep. was doing all he could to avoid the contact. Just lost his balance and couldn't have avoid the Grizzly player on the floor. So Tristan Hamler now will draw guard Klinkerman. There you go. Turnover Grizzlies. 6.34 to play. Thunderbolts by one. Timeout Grizzlies. We'll keep it right here. It's 32-31. We've got 6.34 to go. David, four to two on the fouls. So the Thunderbolts appear that they're going to get to the bonus situation before the Grizzlies. They're going to have to do a better job of knocking down free throws. You know, that too, in order to, you know, to expedite that, they're going to have to penetrate. You know, right now, rise back in that perimeter game again. They came out in the, early in the first quarter, in the first half, uh, went inside, came out in the third quarter, first part of the second half, you know, shoved the ball inside, and that's how they got, you know, got, got scoring. Now they've settled on that outside perimeter shot again. And I'm sure Coach Hill is looking to bring them back together, get back to the basics of their offense, which means spread out the, spread out the offense, force the defense to go ahead and play a man-on-man -man or a, a stretch zone and shove that ball inside again. Early in the third quarter when the Thunderbolts made their move, Austin Hale had two big baskets down on the block. And like you said, he forced the issue and took the ball to the basket. And I, I think the Thunderbolts, you're right, need to get back to pounding the ball inside. I, you know, if they start doing that, Gary, within five or six possessions, they're going to be in the penalty. Ortiz, Hamler, Hale, Hale, and Johnson for the Bolts. 
Johnson at the elbow. Thought about it. Hale from downtown, no good. And that's out of bounds off the Grizzlies. Boy, Connor's really struggling from the oh, field tonight. I don't think he's hit one. He's had a, he has a couple baskets, but they were the inside. One on a putback. Teham, get in there, Tris. Boom! Boom! Out of boy, Teham. Trace. Hamler with the big triple. That's what they need, a little bit of breathing room right here. Get your hands up, get your hands up. Tristan's going to try to make him go left. Nice entry. Hershey backs his way in, forces no. Rebound, no. Boy, and the referee staring right at it, yeah, two wow. feet away. Yeah. Let's it go, and the official out at half court makes the call. Yeah, that was kind of a tough one. Well, Gary, I tell you, if the, you know, if the game goes the way it's uh, been going the last couple positions, these, these team fouls are going to be uh, pretty close. They're going to be knotted up. And then, you know what, that, those type of plays right there with the game so close, you know, granted, if there's a foul, you got to call it. But and something like that, it should be a no call because now it changes the strategy of the game. When where I had a four to zero uh, advantage on the team fouls, now it's four to three. Especially when you have the official that's right on top of the play, not making a call. Johnson nice. inside, oh. just a little short, but little it's short. a good move, Austin. It's okay. Five and a half to go. Nice. 35-33. Woo! Connor says, get it out of here. Sam Ambler checks in for Austin Johnson. Five and a half to go. Boy, we're going to have a good finish. Good, good defense. Go, good, good. Uh, never throw it back to your basket. There you go. Look, look. Thunderbolts caught a break there. Yeah, they did. There you go. Junior catch and shoot. Boop. Boop. Triple. Woo. The lead is five. Here we go. Five minutes to go. Hershey again backs his way in, forces one up, and it's good. <laughs> Got to give him credit. Good shot. Left hand. Yeah. Foul called on number 44, Isaac Sanchez. Fifth team foul, Gary. Hamilton's going to check back in for the Grizzlies. He's got four personals. Be awful surprised if the Thunderbolts don't try to attack him attack and draw him. number five. Pick it up. Pick it up. Lucky that didn't get stolen across court pass. Play smart. Four and a half minutes to go. Now they're picking up that ball, Gary. There's nowhere to throw it. Got to be smart, Bolts. Again, Fowler's pushing them out. He's pushing. They're stretching out that offense. Yep. Someone's got to cut. Hershey's rejected. Sam Ambler. Big man's running the floor. Give it to Sammy. H.A. Vinci will check in for the Thunderbolts for Tristan Hamler. 3.50 to go. Three-point lead for the Thunderbolts. Good body, good body. Turnaround jumper, no good. Nice. Put back, Hamilton. It's a one-point game, three and a half to go. 
Nice, nice. pass. Yeah. Whoa, they're going to count oh, it. Oh, and they're going to give him the they're basket. They're going to give him the bucket. Woo. Woo. NBA. Continuation. Yeah. I tell you, Gary, that so many times referee will call that out and they'll point to the floor. That was a continuation, but it was one of those borderlines. Right caught a break right there. They did. Fouls on number 20. I love that pass. Chris Bolin, absolutely. He put some on it. Right he, he, had to, he had to get something on it to get it in there. Man, and right. again, the Thunderbolts miss a free throw. Good foul. That's a good call. Junior called for the foul. Little body action there. David, six fouls on the Grizzlies right now, so the Thunderbolts will be shooting one and one with the next foul. Foul number two on Junior. Team foul number four. You know what, Gary? The way that right Thunderbolts have been shooting free throws, that might be an advantage for, for Fowler Grizzlies going down the stretch. They may foul and force him to, to beat him at the line. Yes. And, you know, and save that save that uh, time on the clock. One out of two for Wright. It's a two-point lead for the Thunderbolts. Inside. There nice. you go. Austin okay. Hale. Look at Austin. Power, Gary, what did we talk about? They're going back inside to their game. Down shoving it again. inside. Two big baskets down on the block again oh. for Austin Hale here. Oh. For some in reason. the fourth. Yep, that's right. Offensive, Offensive foul. <laughs> Number one, Cooper Wright called for the personal. And the Thunderbolts now are in the bonus. Someone's got to cut. Someone's got to cut. Don't suck him back in the corner. Dow with the turnaround. No. Good move, though, Gary. That was a good move by Aaron. Just missed it. Hershey loses the ball. Possession arrow to the Thunderbolts. Again. Hershey commits the turnover, trying to force something that wasn't there. Fowler can't be discouraged. Everything's kind of leading up. Now the possession or arrows now on Fowler's side, rising the penalty. So going down the stretch, Gary, that you know it may not be a bad a bad situation. Shooting from the corner. Maybe now it will. <laughs> Boom! The lead is seven. Hershey is rejected. Not much trash talk down the floor this time. And now the Thunderbolts can afford to just hold the ball and try to pull Fowler out of that zone defense. Cross court, cross court. Fowler's got to match up, David. They've got to match up now, 137 to go. A seven-point deficit. They can't sit back in their zone. They have got to match up. Gary, when does Fowler start fouling? Remember, rising the penalty now. So when do they start fouling and having Rye beat them from the line? Well, it, it, they, they're going to have to match up, which they have now. They've matched up. They're going to go man-to-man. -man. And if you get a turnover, you don't have to foul. Boy, Rye caught a break there. Had the turnover. Kicked the ball. It'll be Rye basketball. And they're going to double team the basketball. Someone go to the hole. Someone go to the hole. Connor Hale fouled on his way to the basket. 127 to go. That whole team was moving. Someone has got to roll and go to the hole. And then it's just a baseball pass to the yep. basket. Easy bucket. And the Clark, and again, the clock keeps run, running. 127, Connor Hale will shoot one and one. These are some big free throws. Boom. Connor's first point of the second half.
Boom. Hit him. A couple of big free throws Goodness. for the freshman. Hershey's going to go to the basket. Puts his shoulder down. Oh. And what's... He called off. Called it's a called off. That's it. He did the blocking the block. Got a sign. Kind of Hershey put us. lowered his shoulder. <laughs> Anytime you lower your shoulder, you're going to get called for the offensive foul. And he is sent to the bench. There we go. Now, there you go. Break, break, break. Loose ball, controlled by Fowler. Stolen away by Austin there Hale. Nice defense, Austin. We're under a minute to go. The Thunderbolt look, lead is nine. Look at Aaron. Look at Aaron. Fifty-two seconds. AJ Vinci is going to have a one and one with the chance to push the lead to eleven. Check that. He's shooting two. That was team foul number ten. One out of two for AJ. Everyone the lead counts is double right figures. Now. Let him have it. Let him have it. Yep. Travel. Move it. Hershey yep. with the travel. Go, go, go. Don't hold it. Pass it. Quick. Uh, that, that, that's a problem. I mean, you know, they're just going to stop the clock. This 46 seconds is going to last a half hour. Thunderbolts have got to move yep, the basketball rather than hold on to it and cover it up. Move the ball. Mm. Mm. Boy, and if you're foul, you got to get the ball in Klinkerman's hands. Yeah, I agree. Boom. Got it. One out of two for AJ. Right with the turnaround, no good. Oh, nice try. Out of bounce off the Thunderbolts. Now you think now you think coach would put Austin Johnson in there, the big man. Three pointer is no good. Ball is out of bounce off the Grizzlies. The Thunderbolts can smell it now. 31 seconds to go. The lead is 11. There it is. There's the chant. Cross there court to Connor. Look. Twenty one seconds to go. Thunderbolts are going to get a big. Clinkerman, it's number five. Fouled out. Boy, Aaron Daub all alone underneath the basket streaking. A flow to pass, game over. And here's the thing, Gary, clock keeps running. Nice. There we go, AJ. You know what? 15 him, seconds. Yeah, back off, let them play their game. and. Runner is no good. Hale with the rebound. Ahead to Vinci. Ahead to Daub. There you this go. This one's there over. Two, one. That's it. 50 to 38 is your final. A big Thunderbolt victory. Pushes the Thunderbolts back to 500 on the season.
at 9-9, nine and, nine, and a chance now tomorrow night for a big victory in Rocky Ford against the league leaders. I'll tell you what, that's going to be a big win tonight uh, for Rye. Going to be a tough one tomorrow night going into Rocky. Meloneer's playing some great ball, quick. They're big, physical, inside-outside game. They're they're pretty complete team. But and you know what? Hey, play play them tough tomorrow night and get primed for next week and try to get yourself a spot in the tournament. Rocky Ford's a tough place to play. The the background at that gym with all the distance, you know, it, it's it's hard to shoot the basketball down there. Uh, hopefully the girls can go on the road, pick up a win. The boys pick up a win and finish off the regular season in style. Sounds this, good. This was our last regular season game uh, of the season. We'll have to see how the playoffs shake out, whether the Thunderbolts might host. I think there's a good chance the girls might host. But uh, Tech TV 4 Sports, and we will have the schedule posted. 50-38 to 38 is your final. For David Shipley and Karen Banta, this is Gary Leal saying thanks and good night.